That would be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. on to this. Here you go. Smith Chen Lin, Think you can crack this one, one open? Known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. It's that's not good, is it? No. Can you open this, Elizabeth?
It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother, she had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever taken a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my Flambo will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. got an ego. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's... Does this strike you as good news? It doesn't strike me as good news. Gautama Buddha, Who? the founder of Buddhism, spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chan Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Someone downstairs. Excuse me. 
Bugs me. Now, I'm sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Meilin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Fox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Who is this Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Now let's figure out where this good time club is. Like this, how could you 
Lives of Root. What do you Catch, want, Mr. DeWitt? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Bottle of salts! We're getting insolent results! 
Interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your. job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Come on. You're a modern woman. It's 1912. folks like Fink. Really? Yeah, that's what the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Ready. to be locked up in a place like this. Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Can you get this open? <sighs> Child's play. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All yours. Locked. Elizabeth. Give me a second. Looking after my own interests, can you? 
too late. God damn it. This is what he meant. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead? Is dead. What? What the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is becoming rather awkward. This one needs a bit of a nudge. We could spell it out for him, I suppose. Ah, oh, your silence betrays you, brother. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through. To this other Columbia, but... How? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look. There's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that. And have everything else remain the same. These men... I killed them. Because they were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're... They're all bleeding. What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. What's going on here, Sandsmark? My need of security. I suspect you would want to find out. Makes my head hurt. Okay, catch. Much obliged. It's foolish. 
gosh. some money. Want it? Take it. Great. Anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a 
figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to? Mr. Lin, downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. his troubled thoughts. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm uh, Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin. Can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Shiri, would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> 